Okay, okay. Can everybody, everybody hear, hear me? me? Hey, 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 hey. I, I, there's, there's a, a woman who lives, lives here. here. It is it not, not entirely, entirely a bachelor, bachelor pad. pad. Just because she's, she's an engineer, engineer too. too. Is that, is that better? better? Okay. okay. Is this is, is, is the echo, echo gone? gone? Echo, echo gone? gone? Yes. They run running besides, besides the mic, mic. I, I even have my speakers, speakers turned off. off. And... Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm still, still trying, trying to find... Find... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't even have, have Twitch, Twitch open, open anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> I wish, I wish that, that, were, that the were the problem. problem. Camera, Camera mic is, is disabled. disabled. Or at, or at least, least that's, that's what, what Windows tells me is. is. Any, any speakers. speakers. Echo now. All right. Yeah, XSplit was feeding back into itself because XSplit is awesome. Now let's see if we can have music again. <laughs> Windows Firewall. So, just checking, tell me, you hear my voice, you hear my music, and you do not hear any echoes, right? I kind of like to zone out to it. Wonderful. Okay, so... What's actually happening here? Can 
guess that, uh, you can guess from what I'm working on is, uh, curves. And what this is, you can see the grid lines here. Um, it's same building, still putting blocks on a grid, but the grid itself has a warp going to it. And it's not all perfect, as you can see from some of this exciting stuff, but that's what I'm working on today. So yeah, it's a uh, yeah. If you uh, you know do want to think about warping space and time, it's doing a little bit of that. Um, you know, because fundamentally, the thing that I just said from the start, what we have to be able to do if we're going to have any kind of building system in this game, the one thing we need to have is a square castle with round columns in the corners. I think that's something, in, you know, everyone can agree on. Like, that's just, it's not Camelot without that. So I'm going to play with this for just a minute because it's fun. seeing this all come together. As you can see, the grid is distorting all over the place because, well, again, stuff's not there. But the parts that are working are working really well. And now you guys will get to watch me uh, go to work on the rest of this. Yes, shift and drag would be really nice. Shift and drag will happen. Don't worry. Sometimes you get really enthusiastic about a particular idea or something and you just gotta see it through. Door. Doors. Look, you know, when someone comes to knock down your tower and kill everybody inside, you're gonna be glad there was no door. I'm just saying. Alright, so, you see what I'm doing, and now I'm going to switch back over to Visual Studio and work on some of the horrible things like, you know, this nasty jagged shape here, which I can't even select right because it's in, like, warping space and time. Oh, I just put in a new, fe a new feature. Um... trying to let me see all the parts of this so I can turn buildings into wireframe. Obviously, that's one of those cheats that's not going to be making it into the final game. Uh, so, does it mean square blocks against curves can only be done in 90 degrees? Um, uh, the general idea is that, you know, having like a system of just grid warps. So, you know, this is how you would say, you know, build a door with an arch over it. You know, it would have a grid on the bottom and a cylinder turned on its side at the top. So, um...
that's the idea of that. Uh, and so, you know, you can sort of nest warps inside of warps in the final version. That's that's where we want to go with this. Alright, so... any specific system. Well, I mean, there's... At this point, I'm, you know, I just had the idea of, like, there's not a good way to, you know, make every single radius of curves without making all sorts of specialty blocks. I mean, and so... You know, I'm... I had the idea, and it's been kind of iterative from there. Um... I, I sort of uh, have been making up the math as I went along. But what I'm about to do is sort of blow up uh, all the code that makes things render. Because um, it's, you know, when everything's on a grid, there's really simple rules about what is your adjacent cell. And. There are, and those rules get really complicated once you start building something like this because you, know, you can see here, like the number of cells that go around, what uh, go around here, is much larger than the number of cells that go around this, and where those don't line up is where it all starts to fall apart. So. And that's why the grid is tearing itself to pieces when I, you know, drag it across there. So, um, I'm going over to this class, which is the building mesh provider. And that's the thing that, um, that we sort of have a separation between things that produce meshes and things that draw meshes. And so a building consists of a building renderable and a building mesh provider. And you know, we have various things that can render buildings, and then they all take the building mesh provider as their back end. Um, so, starting by destroying all of this, just about, um, this thing steps through all of the... all of the building. This is some code that Corey wrote. And I'm going to be... I'm just taking a look at it just to see how some of it's set up. And in the short term, I'm going get, to be getting rid of all of the sections that, you know, take out, like, the faces of blocks where they touch each other and just have a huge, a huge pile of blocks that, you know, even, like, you know, where two blocks come together, there's a bunch of triangles. And obviously, I'm not going to want to keep that that way, but it's necessary to, you know, a lot of times you just want to get some the easy thing working first. <laughs> 